number B. Uh, what is the probability of picking two white balls? Two white balls. Again, the procedure is the same. You have to pick a white ball in the first instance. Probability of uh, picking a white ball. Uh, so was this really white? Mm, white, white. Uh, we can change this to white so that it makes sense in our case. That's a probability of a white ball. So what is the probability of picking a white ball? Now, the probability of picking a white ball, therefore, will be probability of picking a white ball and, again, the probability of picking a white ball. Now, I have to put this asterisk here to show that these two probabilities are not the same because we are talking of doubt. So, in this case, therefore, what we will do, we will get the probability of picking the first white ball. Now, we have two white balls for the total number of balls, five. And at this instance, we are assuming that we have not picked a white ball or any ball for that matter. So, probability of picking the first white ball should be two out of five. And probability of picking the second white ball, it means that now the white ball have reduced from two to one. And the total number of balls have reduced from five to four. So, therefore, we can say this is now 2 over 5 times 1 out of 4, giving us, now we can use the red handle, such that we now have 1 times 1 over 5 times 2. So in that instance, therefore, we now have a probability of 1 out of 10. So that is the probability of being so white born. Now, we can now be asked to go ahead and find the probability of picking two balls of the same color. So, in that instance, therefore, we'll say... We'll therefore say that this is the probability of picking a white ball and a white ball. Or probability of picking a green ball and a green ball. Now, you can easily see that already in the first instance, we have talked of probability of picking two green balls, meaning a green ball and a green ball. And in the second instance, we've also talked of picking two white balls, meaning a white ball and a white ball. So in this case, therefore, if we talk of probability of a white and a white, so we have our white ball here, which is 3 over 10. And when you talk of probability of a white and a white, that is 1 over 10. When you talk of probability of a green and a green, we already have it here at 3 over 10. So instead of calculating this again, and that's why I'm telling you, uh, we have to be very quick when we're working with probability. Because normally we can satisfy an answer we got earlier into a later working. So in this case, therefore, we will say probability of white white here it is it is 1 over 10 now we agreed these are now mutually exclusive events you cannot have white white and at the same time have green green so if you have white white it means you won't have green green if you are picking twice so we said that when we're talking of mutually exclusive events or it's normally shown by the letter plus or uh, the symbol plus uh, green green that is now 3 over 10. So you now have 1 over 10 plus 3 over 10. Now, working with this, working with this, therefore, we can say, and we agreed in the last class, if you have similar denominator, if you have similar denominator and you are adding, normally just add the numerator and pick one of the denominators. So in this case, we'll have 1 plus 3, which is 4, over 10 and 10, just pick one of them. So you'll have 4 over 10 if you add these two. 
So that will therefore give us, you can therefore cancel, let me use a different ink, two cancels there twice, two, five. So we end up with two over five. Now, it is important to remember that normally when you are dealing with anything, probability included, anytime you have an answer which is a fraction, make sure that that fraction answer is in its simplest form. Make sure that that fraction answer is in its simplest form. Now, allow me to still use this part because I want us to follow these questions as we work. I want us to head to 3 out of 10. We have agreed that of similar denominator, simply write one of them and add the numerator here, like that.